All right, boing sound effect. You can't hear pictures, me. Yo, respect to Polar Bear Likes Cake. That's a classic. That's a freaking classic. I updated this as well. You know what? I'm going to... Here's something. This is going a bit off the script. Not that I had a script, but off the plans for the stream. But I do remember um, in a previous stream, I was looking at uh, the Yahoo Answer thing and people are asking, how did I get like the logo and stuff? I'm going to show you the original file for the Tamago 24-7-4 logo, like the original logo for it. I just have to find it. I'm not exactly sure where it is, but I'll find it. And uh, I think that would be cool to check out. I'm, I'm literally just pulling up all these resources. You can probably see the light changing on my face. Oh yeah. Oh my goodness, you guys. I found it. I actually freaking found it. Oh, when you see this, when you freaking see this original logo, oh my God. <laughs> so here we go. This was like, this is the logo you guys are all used to. Uh, have, oh, maybe not all of you, but if you were here during the animation time, you're used to this being the YouTube channel logo, right? So you have the TV with the sort of no signal colors. And yeah, I, I, I just drew it like this, right? Now here's the thing. This wasn't the original logo. This became the logo after discussing with my sister. Let me show you what the original logo was. I don't know if you're ready for this. I don't know if you're ready for this, but um, it, hopefully I can find it. This is it. Yeah. This was the original logo. <laughs> T-A-M-A-G-O 2474. <laughs> Tamago 2474. And then I had the TV on top to show that, hey, look, it's, you know, it's a, it's a show, it's TV and then productions. And these were supposed to be bubbles. So Tamago 2474 Productions, big T. Uh, and yeah, no, like legit, no joke. This was going to be the logo. So what do you guys think of this? <laughs> Bruh, what the hell is this? I have to come back, watch your videos. It looks like a low quality PowerPoint slide. I'm pretty sure a TV like that was a logo for em Emily's Army. Did I say logo? Logo for Emily's Army. I'm not familiar. Is that a YouTube channel? Looks like something Coco Melon would make. Looking like the intro to a CD you get in a cereal box. <laughs> that was funny, Poopy. That was very funny. Um, yeah, so I made this, you know, and how old would I have been? I would have been like um, uh, 11. 11 at this time. Maybe 12. Maybe 12. And yeah, this is the logo. And I showed it to my sister. And my sister was like, hmm... I don't know. Uh, how about you just use the TV? And I was like, just the TV? And she was like, yeah, why don't you just make the logo the television? And I was like, I don't know. You know, how would someone know it's Tamago 24-7-4 if it doesn't say it? Now imagine, you, you know how small like icons are, like YouTube icons. So this is what it would have looked like. Oh, you can't even, you literally can't even see that. Um, Okay, wait, let me try and get it in a view so that you could actually see what it looks like that small. Okay, this should be better. Okay, imagine, right? That's what it would have ended up looking like on like on YouTube. It would have just been a jumbled up mess. No one would have been able to see what it is. So yeah, my sister made a good recommendation. She was like, just use the TV by itself as a logo. Um, if I go into this, yeah, so it was just a plain TV. There were no colors. I just like sketched this and was like, I like how that looks. <laughs> Your sister doing marketing by any chance? She doesn't do marketing. Uh, well, not as her main job, but you know, I guess she has to do some marketing sometimes. See me, it is confirmed that you have dyslexia for life. <laughs> like one of those pre-made school slides in primary school. It does look like that. Um... Your sister saved the channel. So yeah, from here, I was like, okay, I'll make this the logo. Uh, I have to figure out how I'm going to, you know, make it better though. So this is what I did next. So what I did is, and we can actually compare if I go to, uh, if I go here and I take the TV from here and then I go here, um, put duplicate items into a folder. All right, uh, let me hide the background too. Oh crap, this is in the background. All right, bear with me one moment. 
cut that, hide that, put that here. So I stretched out the TV. You can see that this one is a, li a little bit taller. So what I did was I stretched it out like that. Yeah, stretched it out. And then I just filled it in brown and I filled in the colors too. So yeah, that's literally like the logo I use on my channel. It's something I just sketched when I was 12 or whatever. And that's how I went. So your sister has been a hero all these years. I mean, yeah, like my, my sister, like, you know, she, she helps me a lot. She's like, yeah, you should do this. You should do that. And I was like, yeah, okay, I'll do that. <laughs> uh, this probably took me two days. Well, no, no, it took, it wasn't that long, but I did spend a lot of time on these things, you know, like even, wait, 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 here, even this, I spent, you know, a good hour maybe on it because I wanted it to look good. I see, I put a gradient on this, like a lot of thought went into it. I put, I put a gradient on the bubbles too. Four points. This gradient has four color points. Like I wasn't, I wasn't messing around. You know what I mean? I was going in. Um, eventually I was like, oh, it could be really good if it was my outro. Like not only is it my logo, but it's my outro too. And that's where we get this. There we go. So yeah, I just made it <laughs> come in. And then, you know, go back and forth a little bit. And then you get time to go 24 7 for productions. Trademark. So, yeah. And then the TV turns off. I thought that was so cool. The TV freaking turns off. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, I just liked it, man. This is, this is literally just a 12 year old trying to be creative. That's why I always like it when I see young kids trying to like make videos or whatever. I'm like, oh. You're going to look back on this stuff and you're going to be like, ah, I remember doing that. So yeah, no, this is pretty cool. Eventually, I started making my videos in widescreen. So I had to make another one, but with the whole thing in widescreen now. So it's basically the same thing with some minor adjustments, um, but now in widescreen. Um, and yeah, wait, why is this grayed out? Why is it not black? I don't know what's going on here. Do I... Yeah, I don't know why it should be black text, but it's kind of gray here for some reason. Not too sure about that. Your new logo should be this one, but on the screen, it should have your current logo, a mix of those two legendary logos. I like that idea, Richard. Only problem is this screen is so tiny. If I put my new logo in there, I mean, let's just draw a circle in there right now. Just so to get an idea, <clears throat> just to get an idea of how small it would be. Like that's how, that's the size. It's like too small. It's way too small. Petition to bring it back. Absolutely not. Um, as I did, eventually, you know, eventually I added a background to it. Wait, I'm trying to find... Where's the background? So let me undo everything here. So I added this background, and this was my, like, YouTube profile picture for a long time. And I updated it a little bit. So I added, you know, more lines. So it went from this to this. Just a lot more lines. Um, yeah, not much of a difference there. And yeah, then I changed it to this, which is the time ago annoyed face. Did I, was this ever my YouTube? I actually don't think this was ever my YouTube profile picture. This is like my everything else profile picture, but not for YouTube. It always remained this for YouTube until I eventually just replaced it with the, you know, glasses face. And that's what it's been ever since, since like 20, I feel like since 2015, or 2016, it's my Steam profile picture. Yeah, this is still my profile picture on Steam and Origin. So, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, that's the history of my my logos and stuff. I just thought it might be interesting to show you. What, what What's this? This is testing. This is me looking at a potential animation I was working on. Oh, crap. This is an unshown animation. Ah, oh, this is going to be a story time. Not story time, but a video kind of like spoilers. I'll show you this another day. <laughs> That's not for today. That's not for today. <laughs> but yeah. Um, that's what's up. I mean, it's just kind of cool. Just making stuff. And being able to look back on it. So, that's what we've got. Curious when I'm going to change my profile picture again. I don't know. I have no plans to change it. I like the way it's at now. See me curling up because of nostalgia. <laughs> I like the way my profile picture is now. 
um it fits the channel and yeah i mean like I, I feel like if i were to change it because i don't really animate anymore i don't know if it'd be another animated face or if it really even look like tamago it'd look more like me i'd make it look like me but i wouldn't want that i like the tamago face you know what i mean i just like it so i'm pretty sure i'm gonna keep it like that for a while i don't know when i would change it honestly way more entertaining than the evolution of the adidas logo adidas wait let me see adidas logo evolution because i'm unsure i mean that's pretty cool honestly i the formatting of this is so weird what what the hell and how is that 20, 2005 to now i've never seen that as the adidas logo i've always seen it as this this I've only ever seen it as these. I don't even think I've seen this before, honestly. Just these two. So I don't know what this is, but okay, sure. This is so much more entertaining than Reddit Monday. Thank you for ending that suffering. <laughs> You're welcome, Richard. Thank you for tuning in. <laughs> How did the YouTube logo evolve over time? It wasn't that um it wasn't that involved, honestly. It was pretty straightforward. <clears throat> for the most part it was just um the tube bit that they changed until they eventually squashed youtube together and made the logo just this so that it could be silhouetted and just have a single like image without having text in it which i understand their decision it was weird at first but like i get why they did that and now this is like a very iconic like you know that's youtube if you see this so i get why they did that the lego logo Wow, okay. I didn't expect it to be so involved, but yeah, we have a lot here. I feel like they did make it better over time, though. Like, it is an improvement each time. As, as, aside from this, I don't know why they would go from this to this, honestly. And this is like Art Deco. It seems like they're keeping in times with the sort of artistic style of the time. Is this Art Deco? Someone who studies art history. Let me know if I got that right. The Disney logo. Okay, I'll check out the Disney logo, the McDonald's logo, not Kevin's suggestion. And then the BMW logo. And then that'll be it. <laughs> All right, Disney logo. Oh, not different, to be honest. Like they changed. I don't like this. I don't like this. But yeah, they eventually got their definitive font in 1972, which is very similar to this font, like very similar. This was an L for them, toe L. Um, but yeah, not much different, honestly. Pretty, pretty similar all around. McDonald's famous barbecue. I didn't know it was ever a barbecue place. I mean, I guess technically you can consider it a barbecue, but yeah, interesting. McDonald's hamburgers. Um, you got this one. I can't even really see what that says. It's not very high res, honestly. Is this a better image? Oh, crap. It, this one has more than this one does. So this one has like some proper classic ones. But then we'll click on this one for the rest of them. So I like this. I actually like this. I think mean, this looks cool. But obviously they introduced the arches, the golden arches. And that's when it becomes the iconic McDonald's logo. Yeah. Eventually, they just got rid of the text because everyone knows what the M means. Everybody. Uh, and then they made the M, like, thicker here. They, like, enveloped the silhouette within the actual yellow color. And then they made it thinner. And then they put the red background. So we got the McDonald's logo. But, okay then. Cool. And the last one I said, uh, was it BMW? <laughs> okay. I mean, <laughs> not much change, but... Uh, yeah, not much changed. I feel like it just got better. Honestly, I like I like this one the best. Like they made it more 3D, and I like that. So, what is this though? Wait, what? That's that's not the new logo, is it? That's not the. Is that the new logo for BMW? I have never seen that before. Well, I prefer this one. I'm not a fan of this. They've gone with the whole flat design thing. Like, I get why companies go with flat design, you know, it's just, it's kind of just um, how art shifts over time, but yeah. Yeah, okay then, sure, sure. You think I should check the Audi logo? And okay, this will, these will be the actual last two before we ratchet and clank free, okay? Before we start getting to that game. Audi and Netflix. Audi and then DKW? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, it's four logos. So it's four companies that merged together to form the rings 
and then they became the auto union plus this one to become Audi NSU. And then they went with the text, but they're like, nah, we like the rings. That's cool though. I like the whole idea of they were, there were four companies and so they formed four rings. That's nice. That's cool. Netflix.com. I remember this one, this one, and well, I mean, they use these right now. They use both of these right now. Um, and then I remember this too. So yeah, but I never saw it like this. Obviously before my time, 1997 to 2000. And then we have these two. So yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Hell yeah. All right. That's what's up. No more logos for today. I mean, are you, you guys just want to see logos? I kind of want to play Ratchet and Clank 3. I'm not going to lie. We'll check out more logos later. Kevin saying, bro, you were alive between 1997 and 2000. Yeah, but it's before my time. I wasn't looking at Netflix at the age of one. Bro, what's going on? <laughs> Bro, one-year-olds be Netflix and chilling nowadays. Okay, Kevin. I don't know what one-year-olds you're aware of, but I personally am not familiar, okay? Not familiar whatsoever. I never thought checking logos was interesting. But alas, when you come to the stream, anything can be interesting. Aside from today's subreddit, it was pretty dead. But we had some good posts. We had a couple of good posts. 